Hello, in this lesson, uh, we want to create such a this beautiful motion graphic. As we can see, we have a cloner that we give them, uh, we clone them on a spline. And we have an object. As you can see, they are rotating this object, they are rotating. And with a volume effector, we uh, change the size of the object that goes inside. We use a dynamic tag, uh, we use a connect object, and I explain them uh, in this lesson. Okay, in this lesson, I want to create and combine lots of effector and create a ro dynamic rotation. It's very simple. First, we create a path for our dynamics. Uh, you can give a flower. Makes its plane change. Yeah, I accidentally. This is our flower that we want to uh, clone our object on it. <clears throat> Going to flower, you can change the outer radius or inner radius a little. You can increase the petals for example here i want to clone some object on them uh first yeah cube make it a smaller this is our first cube to clone the object <clears throat> then platonic yeah make it a smaller uh <clears throat> another thing that you want for example <clears throat> sphere we want to clone them on the this flower. So we use a cloner, we clone all of them based on an object. Select an object, go to the object, introduce the object to the cloner here. And in the distribution, we make it even and make a lot of them here. Nice. And in the cloner, I want to give a random random effector to random the position and random the uh, of course the scale of them go to the parameter of the random this is our position and of course scale of scale rotation now yeah random in this size if you want it okay and here you can go and change the scale of some objects to make them bigger yeah and go to the random in a position we make a smaller random yeah nice <clears throat> uh, and you can go you can do uh, instead of that another thing that is, looks like better for example the circle or inside anything that you want for example inside and in off the object you can insert this inside instead of that yeah that's better and i want to add an object with a time rotated you can create a with a spline or in this lesson i want to explain how to use uh, another tool that you learned before connect object uh, for example i insert uh, from the above a cube here make it smaller in a by eye you can bring it there it's access and make it bigger again with my eye it's not very important <clears throat> And I want to add another object in this side, holding control and, sorry, holding control and then copy that. Oh, accidentally I replaced that. Yeah. And uh, I want to, any object that goes inside these two objects will be disappear, for example. Uh, we are going to right click and group object. And this is our null, okay? It's our rotating object. I can directly give the time effector to the data object. It's null and that object. For the time uh, objects, I uh, yeah, go into the rotation. And in a deformer, I have to turn the object on. 
But how we can assign this time to that? As you can see, it does not work because we have to assign them. You can right click and group them again. And as you can see, because of their object are separately, they gives the object separately. Nice. And in this case, I want to connect these two objects and uh, define them as one object. So what can I do? You can use a connect object. You learn them before and uh, it's here. You can bring it there and make the object to connect. And now test it. And as you can see, you can you, uh, see that um, another usage of the connect. It connect to object and the time effector uh, define them as a one object and rotate. Okay, nice. We make the timer, the frame bigger, and you see the another <clears throat> usage of that. Okay, uh, let's see. May I turn it off. Let's see. We want to add a dynamic to our object. Uh, as you can see, if I insert a plane here and go to the this cloner, go to the tag and the bullet tag, I turn it to a rigid body. And if you play it, whole object, as you can see, they're exploding and going down. Nice. Everything is correct in a rigid body is automatically defined a, a cloner and they're exploding. And you can add the collider body to this plane. Bullet collide with the body and as you can see, they'll fall on a plane. Nice. They are exploding. Why? Because uh, they are intersecting to each other and uh, the software accident suddenly use the rigid body and I will explode. You can two things. As I said before, you can use a push apart effector. You can use a push apart effector. Go to the effector and change the strings or push apart radius. But I want to use directly dynamic. So for staying in their position, for staying in the position, um, this is a trigger. You can go to the force and uh, give a higher number. In I explain them later. Don't worry. Give it in a follow position. They are following their position. As you can see, they are maintaining in their position. Nice. Or you can zero the gravity or anything that you want. You can make this number. And as you can see, they are following in position and staying to a stable. Okay. So I want to my scene to begin with this position so you can go to dynamic and set initial state it means if you go to from beginning this scene will be uh, created the initial state that you set not from the beginning nice and uh, uh, one turn off this our object and we want to rotate it uh, going to the null and in the basic object, you can <clears throat> change its color or go to this object, both of them, turn on the sorry, in this case, x ray, or a better way is uh, assign a display tag to that. You're going to the render and here the display tag. Turn it on and make it uh, line. As you can see, we have a line. Okay. This is our object that are rotating. I want to use a volume effector. That effector um, inside this object, the object of the colonel that goes inside this cube that are rotating, that are connecting to each other, make them value. Okay. Go to your cloner and another effector. Here is our list of the first effect is random. Another effector that we will use, it's a volume object. And then the volume, it's uh, waiting for the introducing the value. You have to go here and you have to 
uh, assign the connect object, not a null, connect object. And the value object will be, okay. And you have to go to the parameter and which parameter do you want to assign the value? Uh, effector. Uh, okay, and go to the scale and you can scale it down inside. It means you can make it a zero or negative number. Minus one, I think. And as you can see, any object that goes inside that value or that are rotating going on zero parameter. So we use a value that we use two cube or any object, then connect and don't forget to insert a value in uh, a connect object. So I accidentally drag a null object and it does not work. And as you can see, you can affect interesting uh, dynamics. As you can see, they are dynamic. Or you can go in use uh, another interesting two color to your object. For example, this is sphere, this platonic, and another cube. You can go to them, make a red color, blue color, yellow color. Yeah, you can colorize your to better understanding and see. And it's nice. As you can see here, and after that, you can go to the cloner effector and of course use a delay effector for de springy mode delay effector and make sure that you assign it first a random the volume and after the volume the delay effector if you select a delay effector i need a spring and more power and now as you can see we have a nice springy effect here so this is an this is this is that you learn it you can make it in a display or or you can for example go to the null and as you can see you can hide it from render and viewport and we have this such a nice effect so in this lesson you know you learn how to clone object around the spline then use a random then connect to object and use them as a volume to change a parameter of the scale using a simple a simple tag that called to change into the line or or and use a time object how to deform change it to the object to rotate just the object you learn um simple dynamic tag uh, seems some sitting here and you can create this such a beautiful motion graphic hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release